Today, a Hennepin County jury could start deliberating the case of a man accused of shooting five Black Lives Matter protesters. The shooting happened in November of 2015 as protesters gathered outside the 4th Precinct in Minneapolis following the police shooting of Jamar Clark. The trial of Alan Scarcella started two weeks ago, and now the case will be in the hands of a jury. Mary McGuire was inside that courtroom as Scarcella was on the stand earlier this week. Mary, what was his demeanor while he was testifying? Yeah, I was inside the courtroom when Scarcella was testifying in his own defense on Monday, and I was shocked by how calm he appeared. He directed a lot of his answers to the jury, and of course, those are the people who will decide today whether or not Scarcella acted in self-defense. Now, Scarcella is accused of shooting five black protesters who were camped out at the 4th Precinct in Minneapolis following the death of Jamar Clark on November 23rd of 2015. On the stand, he claimed he went to the protest with three other men simply to live stream the event, but the prosecution argues they went there to cause trouble, motivated by racial hatred. In closing arguments yesterday, the prosecutor showed this live stream video of Scarcella at the protest, as well as racially charged text messages from the months before the shooting, where Scarcella talked about shooting black people. The prosecution argued Scarcella had a quote, obsession with shooting black people. In closing arguments for the defense, attorneys for Scarcella said nothing should matter in the jury's decision outside of the night of the shooting and that the events directly leading up to the shooting and that an angry crowd punched and pursued Scarcella and his friends and that he shot because he feared for his life. Now, the jury was not sequestered in this case. They were allowed to go home, but they will return uh, to the courthouse here to begin their deliberations this morning. Scarcella faces a number of felony charges. Mary, what can you tell us about the jury in this case? Well, it's made up of nine men and three women, including two alternates, both of which are males, and there are no African-American people on the jury. Okay, Mary McGuire, thank you.